Hello everyone, this is Lorraine. Um, we're going to be talking about body parts as idioms this morning. Um, just uh, waiting for people to join the class. Okay, there. We'll turn off the verbling window. Okay. Great. All right, so if you are uh, a premium member, you can join the class right away, and if you haven't done that already, um, you'll wait for two minutes and then you'll be able to join the class. So, body parts, body parts. When we begin, I'm going to start uh, by playing you a piece of music. It's very old American music um, written by uh, um, black uh, duo uh, who did a lot of uh, plays and, and musicals and things, and they wrote a song that, uh, that is a good start for us when we're going to be learning about body parts. So just waiting for some people to join the class and we'll get going. Hi, Victoria. Victoria, are you there? Sí, we, uh, <laughs> yes, yes, I'm, I'm here. I'm here, right. <laughs> One of those languages, that's great. You must uh, be Spanish. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm Spanish. Yes, yeah. very good. But, I'm but your, uh, your name is French, no? Yes, mm -hmm. it is. It's a French uh, name. Yeah, Lorraine. Yes, it is. Lorraine. But uh, I'm not French. I'm from Canada. And ah, I'm not okay. even from French Canada. <laughs> ah, yes. I know people from Canada. Oh, good. Uh, who their, their name is French. Ah, okay. Now, I think we have uh, Nyong, are you there? Uh, what? What do you say? Oh, I, I think there's a new person joining the class here. Ah, uh, uh, okay. And I'm just uh, saying hi. Yeah, Nyong's oh, there. Mama. Hello. <laughs> How are you today, Nyong? <laughs> Hello, Kim. How are you doing? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Kim. Yes, I'm here. Okay, great. Welcome to the class. Where are you from, yeah. Kim? Uh, I'm from Vietnam. Uh, Vietnam. This is the first time. Yes, this is the first time I start here, and okay. I'm very happy to uh, uh, enjoy the class and enjoy the interesting uh, time today. Okay, great. Thank you for joining us. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nairis, is that how you pronounce your name? Nairis. Yes. Okay. Yes, Can you say it for me so I know that I'm saying it right? Say your name? Najeris. Najeris? Najeris. Najeris. Okay, great. Thank you for joining. You must be, um, you are Spanish? Yes. Where are you from? I'm from Colombia. Colombia. Well, welcome. Thank you for joining the class. Thank you. And we have somebody else here. Isabel? Isabel? Hello? Isabel? Um. Can you hear me, Isabel? Okay. And Victoria. How's it going? Hernan. Welcome, Hernan. Nice to have you back. Hello.
Hernan, are you there? Can you hear me now? <laughs> okay, so we have Isabel. Yes, do you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. That's good. Fine. Excellent. Fine. Where are you from, Isabel? I'm from uh, close to Paris, Versailles. Oh, France. very good, in France. Well, welcome. Thank you. It's my first time, so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I'm pretty new at this myself, so we're all learning. <laughs> Okay, so I think we'll get the class started. The uh, topic of this class is body parts in English are, well, they are what they are, but they are also used as verbs and we use them in a lot of idioms. So we're going to, uh, we're going to find out what some of those are. Uh, Hi. Somebody else? Hello? Is that Hernan? Yes. Can you check to see if you've got the verbling window open as well? Because I'm hearing myself. You have to close the verbling window and just have the Google Hangout window. You got it? Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play um, an audio clip for you. It's a song. It's a very, very old song from the United States. Uh, it's um, called them dry bones and I'll also put up uh, the words so that you can read along with them so let me just get the screen share going there it is and now I have to share it uh, now why isn't my screen share work oh dear there it is All right. Here it goes. Easy go connect them. Dry bones, easy go connect them. Dry bones, easy connect them. Dry bones, I hear the word of the Lord. Well, your toe bone connected to you, foot bone, your foot bone connected to you, heel bone, your heel bone connected to you, ankle bone, your ankle bone connected to you, leg bone, your leg bone connected to you, knee bone, your knee bone connected to you, thigh bone, your thigh bone connected to you, hip bone, your hip bone connected to you, backbone, your backbone connected to you. Shoulder bone, shoulder bone connected to you. Neck bone, neck bone connected to you. Head bone, I hear the word of the Lord. And them bones, them bones gonna walk around. And them bones, them bones gonna walk around. And them bones, them bones gonna walk around. I hear the word of the Lord. Okay. Back to you guys. So, did everybody hear that? Is anybody there? Hello? Yeah, I can hear. Okay, did you hear this song? Yeah. yeah. All right. So, this is all about, um, it's an African-American spiritual song uh, that was based on a book of the uh, Christian Bible in Ezekiel. And it was sung in the 1930s by the Delta Rhythm Boys. And I just wanted to use it as a starter for uh, what we're going to be talking about. So I'm going to change the screen share so that we can look at the, um, um, the worksheet. Did everybody get the worksheet uh, that was attached to this lesson at the beginning? If not, I'm going to put the, uh, the link in the chat box. So just give me a second here. Hopefully that works, yes. So you can use that link to get to the worksheet. But everything will be on the screen as well. So you'll be able to look at it either on the worksheet or on the screen. Okay. So let me just change over to the next screen. Oh, actually, I was there already. Stupid me. All right, here we go. 
So we're talking about parts of the body. Now we have an exercise here. Um, we have all these body parts, ankle, head, elbows, hips, knee, neck, thigh, thumb, shoulder, wrist, toes, eyes, and nose. So I'm going to get each person to read a line. So we'll start with Hernan. Hernan, are you there? Can you read number yeah. one, please? Uh, disconnect uh, your head to your body. Okay, so what would that be? Uh, what connects your head to your body? I think it's the neck. Yeah, the neck, that's right. Perfect. Okay. And Kim, can you do number two, please? Kim, are you there? Hello? I'm not hearing you, Kim. Let's see. Um, there's something wrong with your mic, I think. I see you, but I can't hear you. Okay, we're going to go over to um, Nigeris. I think I said that right. Hello? Yes, hello. Can you do number two, please? This is between your hand and your arm. Yes. So what's between your hand and your arm? Um, I don't know how to call it. Ah, okay. <laughs> between Young. my hand and my arm, right here? Yeah, yes. Right there. I don't, I don't know how to say okay, it. Let's see if let's see if Nung knows. Um, yes, it's wrist. It's wrist. what? I don't, wrist. It's pronounced wrist. Yeah. wrist. Yeah. Yes. Wrist. Yes. Thank you. So I'll put that down. Wrist. All right. And Victoria, can you do number three, please? Victoria, are you there? Hello. No, Victoria. Um. Okay, Kim, are you there yet? Kim? Having some difficulty with the equipment. No, I don't think we have Kim yet. Oops. Okay, Evnan. Can you do uh, yeah. number three, please? Okay. This is between your foot and your leg. All right. And what would that be? Your foot. I think oh, it's the uh, ankle. Ankle. That's right. Good job. Mm -hmm. Ankle. Now we have somebody new who's joined us. Chris, can you hear me? Hello? Chris? Yes, yes. I can. Oh, good. Hello, Chris. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from in Spain. Okay. Welcome to our, our little lesson here. Have you been following along? Can you see the screen share, number four? Yeah. Uh, this is where the lower part of your leg meets the upper part of your leg. Okay, what would that be? I think is the oh. Um, one moment. <laughs> There's a list of words at the top in uh, kind of a light blue. Just take a look at those. I don't know the name exactly. Okay, can anybody else help her out? Who knows it? Young, do you know no. which it is? Okay. No. So take a look at your own leg. What's between the lower part of your leg and the upper part of your leg? And it's how you can bend your leg. Hi. Apple. Sorry? No, elbow. elbow is on your arm, in the same place, on your arm. Yeah. This is on your leg. It's a uh, knee, the knee. 
Okay, so that's and between me, you. Yes, <laughs> yes <laughs> the lower part of your leg yes. and the upper part. You did um, um, the next one, number five. <laughs> so go I ahead, Nyung. <laughs> number five, do you want to read that one to me, Nyung? Yeah, this is where the lower part of your arm meets the upper part of your arm. Right, and that was? Apple. The elbow. Say elbow. Elbow. Not po, bo, a b sound. Po. Elbow. Can I hear El it one more po. time? Not po, bo. Like a book. Po. Yes, elbow. El Good. Po. Yes. Good. Excellent. Sergi. Hello? Sergi, are you there? Hello? Can you hear me? All right, Sergi, you have the Verbling window open as well as the Google Hangouts, so tr um, shut the Verbling window. Uh, okay? No, you got to shut it. Sergi? I can't hear him. Let's go on. Um, Chris? Hi. Hello? Yes, hello. Okay, we'll do uh, number six, please. Yes, I can. You see with this, uh, this is the uh, eyes. 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 <laughs> eyes, that's right. Yes. And uh, Hernan, number seven. Um, your arm meet your body here. Okay, where would that be? Um, oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, take a look at your own arm. What's that thing that's right at your body? Sorry. Okay, that's fine. Anybody else know what it is? Shoulder. Shoulder. Shoulder, that's right. Shoulder. Shoulder. Yes. Okay. Please, everybody, check that you don't have the verbling window open because I keep hearing feedback. So just make sure that verbling is closed and just your hangout is open. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, Kim, are you there, Kim? Yeah. Okay, can you do number eight, please? Yes. City where your legs meet your body. Okay, yes. could you say that one more time, please? Um. Say that one more time. Oh. Hi. I'm not hearing you too well. I'm not hearing you too well. Okay. I'm I'm sorry, uh, one moment quick, Kim. Okay, I, do you have the verbling window open as well? Because I'm hearing myself. Uh, yes, yes, but I can't uh, read uh, because it is very flu. Ah, yes, it is nice now. Okay, good. All right. So, Kim, did you come up with the answer for number eight? Does anybody else know? Hip. Hip, that's right. You may have said that, uh, Kim, but I can't hear you, so <laughs> it's a problem. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, 
All right, somebody still has a verbling window open. Please try and shut it. <laughs> it's very hard to hear myself uh, come back at me. All right, so we have um, Isabel. Are you there? All right, so we have um, Isabel. Can you hear me? Are you there? I can't hear you. I just hear me. <laughs> Okay. Um, Nadiris, can you do number nine, please? Yes, but I cannot see properly. Okay. Um, can you read it on your worksheet? Worksheet. Okay. I I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Okay. Can you tell me, please. It's number eight. Number eight. Number yes. Number. Eight. Uh, no. Number nine. This Number is the nine. upper of your leg, okay. and it is tight. It's pronounced thigh. Try thigh. It. Thigh, yes. Good. Thigh. Yes. Okay. Is that correct? That's correct. Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> uh, Nyung, Number 10. Okay. No, this is on top of your neck. It's the head. Exactly, the head. Good. And Sergey? No, wait a minute. Okay. Okay. Is that how you pronounce your name? Okay. Okay, yes, okay. Okay. Where are you from, Okay? From Turkey, Istanbul. From Turkey. Oh, excellent. Apparently, the people from Turkey have been having trouble getting on to Verbling. So it's good that's fixed. Okay. People, if uh, you close your microphones, mute your microphones if you're not talking, because there's a lot of noise. Najeris, do you know how to mute your microphone? I can do it for you. There's a lot of noise. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, can you do number 11, please? Okay, are you there? Yes. Okay, number yes, 11? Yes, uh, 11. Uh, this, this is toss. Toss. Okay, can you read the sentence, please? Okay, number 11. Read the you sentence. You have five of these at the end of each foot. Right, good, thank you. Toes, perfect. Sergey, can you do number 12, please? Yes. Uh, you use this to smell. <laughs> What's that? It's nose. A nose, that's right. Good. And do we have anyone else there? No. Down here. Chris, number yes. 13. You have four fingers on one of them. Of this on each hand, right. it's a uh, thumb. 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 Right. Good job. Okay. All right. So now we've got the body parts, and now we're going to look at how body parts can be used as verbs. So we'll go to the next s slide. All right. Uh, Let's see, Hernan, read um, number one. You just you don't have to put anything in the blank just yet. We'll talk about it, but just read the sentence, and we'll talk about what goes in the blank. Okay? Just read the sentence, and we'll talk about what goes in the blank. Okay? Hernan. Are you there? I'm not hearing from Arnan. Kim, are you there? Nigeris, oh. can you hear me? Can anyone hear me? <laughs> yes, I can. Okay. <laughs> so I, I'm going to each person and I'm not getting an answer. So <laughs> I don't know if they can't hear me or I can't hear them. Okay. So maybe you could try number one. 
Don't uh, don't try to put anything in the blank yet. Just read the sentence without a, the word. Okay, go ahead. Number one. Can you see it? Nigerians. Yes. Um, number one. Do you your way through queues? Yeah, queues. In crowds, or you, or do you wait patiently at the back? Okay. So, queues is line up, waiting in line, and well, crowds, you know. So we're going to use a body part in the in there in the blank. And we have to think about what body part would work. Think about being in a crowd and what you have to do if you want to get through the crowd. Think of what your body does. Think of what your arms do. What do you think we might put into that uh, blank as a body part, as a verb? Anybody got an idea? Mm -hmm. okay. All right, so I'll do the first Hi, one for I'll you. Hit. I'll do the first one for you. All right. Do you elbow your way through queues and crowds, or do you wait patiently at the back? So just picture what it's like when you're in a crowd and you're trying to get through and you're sort of pushing people with an elbow. It is not polite, but people do it. And in English, we can use the word elbow as a verb to express that particular thought. So do you elbow your way through queues and crowds or do you wait patiently at the back? All right, number two. Oh, any questions about that? About that one? Anyone? No? It's okay? Can, can you define it again? Um, elbow? About meaning, yes, about meaning in which way, in which case? Um, okay, we're using body parts as verbs, so the action part of a sentence. And it's a way to express um, something that you are going to do, usually very, um, it's like a picture. So that's why I say when you think of this, do you elbow your way through queues and crowds? Think of how people move. If they're in a hurry and there's lots of people around, they sort of push at them with their arms, with their elbows. So that's why we can use the word elbow as the verb. Maybe it will be clear when we go to the next one and you'll see how body parts are being used as the verbs. So, I'm going to get uh, Sergey. Can you read number two? Uh, do you know anyone who... Um, sorry, uh, do you know anybody uh, who uh, enjoys around uh, taking a very close uh, interest in other people's lives? Okay. Now, everybody, I'm sure, in every language has those people who like to know your business. And in English, we say that people are using their nose. They're being nosy. So in this case, we're going to use the word nosing. So do you know anyone who enjoys nosing around? taking a very close interest in other people's lives. Does anybody else have an expression similar to that in their language? Here, uh, it's kind of I am seeing every, every, everybody. Okay, so you're using the eyes, whereas we call pe people nosy. They're being nosy. They're sticking their nose into other people's business. So it's called being nosy. So you can use the word nose in nosing. Do you know anybody who enjoys nosing around, taking a very close interest in other people's lives? Okay. 
Any questions about that one? No? All right, so we have Eric. Hello, Eric. Can you hear me? Eric? No, oh, Eric can't hear me. Oh. Juan, are you there, Juan? Yes, hello. Hello, very good. Hey. I'm very well. Hello? hello? Oh, Eric. we have Eric? Yes, Is that Eric? yes. No. Hello, Eric. Yes. Where Where are Hi. you from, Eric? I'm from the from Dominican Republic. Oh, very nice. The, the okay. sun. The, the land for the sun and sun. Yeah, I wish I was there instead of here. <laughs> okay. I'm in uh, Canada teacher. with the snow. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the expression in my country for snow sin people is gente chismosa. Okay, and can you translate that is in English? It's uh, nothing, uh, nothing around. Okay, so it's the same in, in your language. All right. Yes. Good. Can you read number three for me, please, Eric? Okay. Do you enjoy a lot of, a lot of responsibility at work? Or do you prefer to let other make the decision? Okay. So, any idea what word goes in that blank? What body part? Anybody? Responsibility. Uh, yeah, there's a body part that has to go in after enjoy. Do you enjoy something? A lot of responsibility at work. Anybody? No? It could be five. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Can you write it down? Uh, it could be five, maybe. Uh, and about no. the responsibilities. No? Uh, no, no, there's another word. Um, when we talk about uh, a heavy load, when you carry a heavy load, where do you carry the load? If you're carrying something physically on, on you, where do you carry it? Sometimes it might... In my back. On your back, okay, it could be on your back. Where else? Your hands also. Yeah, possibly the hands. Anywhere else? In your head, too. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one as well. We've hit every other place except the one that we're going to use for this. <laughs> One more thing. I'll show you what it is. Shoulder. We often carry our loads on our shoulder. Um, this comes from um, the Greek mythology of Atlas. Does anybody know about Atlas? And what Atlas did? Anybody heard? Am I muted somehow? No? Atlas? Yeah. Have you heard of Atlas? Baby Atlas? Some, 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 some kind of uh, a boy making exercise for heavy lifting? Yeah, he lifted, he had the world on his shoulders. Okay. So Atlas has the world on his shoulders. He carried the world in Greek mythology. Okay. So that's how we get the expression shouldering as being carrying a heavy load. So in this sentence, do you enjoy shouldering a lot of responsibility at work? Or do you prefer to let others make the decisions? So we're shouldering the work, shouldering the responsibility, carrying the heavy load on our shoulders. Okay, good. Any questions? We'll continue on. Uh, haven't heard from Juan. Could you read number four, Juan? Okay. Uh, where are you after the lesson? Are you going to home? Okay. So, any idea what word we would use in there? I don't know. Maybe something related to fit, but I don't know. Okay. At the very beginning, uh, we looked at a lot of um, body parts. Okay. And if you have the worksheet, do you have the worksheet? that goes with this lesson. At the top of the page there's a list of words. Yes. So we're going to be using one of those words. 
Okay, so I'm going to put it in there for you. Where are you headed? So mostly with creatures, um, more with animals like horses or dogs, what part of the body goes first when they walk away? The head. The head. So <laughs> the head. We're, we're a little bit different. We sort of go all in one piece because we stand on two legs. But we use the word headed as a verb to go somewhere. So where are you going after the lesson or where are you headed after the lesson? Are you going home? Okay. Does that make sense? <laughs> These are hard. Okay. Uh, who's next? Uh, Kim, can you hear me? Kim, are you there? No, Kim. And uh, Nigeris, can you read number five, please? Yes. When when was the last time somebody you up? Did you start flirting her? Uh, flirting back? Flirting, yeah. Do you understand flirting? flirting? What does flirting mean? Do you flirting know? Is, is kind of when somebody to, to when somebody likes any boy or girl. Yeah, that's and, right. Yeah. yeah, and they're trying to find a way to kind of get together and maybe ask for a date or something. Yeah, flirting. So, what are we going to put into the blank? Anybody got an idea? Of what might go into that blank? Maybe I am? Yeah. When was the last time somebody, in this case it's a past tense, eyed? When was the last time somebody eyed you up? Did you start flirting back? So eyed is sort of, you know, giving you the look. <laughs> that look that says, I'm interested. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No questions about that one? It's pretty clear? Okay. Oh, yes. I is something like a first verb. I you up. Okay. I you up is uh, something like a phrase verb. Phrase, phrasal verb. Uh, can you write it down in the chat so I can see what you're saying? It's a phrasal verb. Phrasal verb. Phrasal verb. Oh, um, yeah. Eyed up is a phrasal verb. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Uh, number six. We're at uh, Nyung. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Have you ever lived? In what situations may you consider traveling in a stranger's car? Okay. So, in a stranger's car, what do you think? What, how would you get into a stranger's car? Oops, I don't have my uh, screen share up anymore. Let me just fix that. Okay. Yep. There. Now we're back. Is there, um, in your country, uh, do people ask for rides from strangers? And if so, how do they do it? Young? Can you repeat? Okay. I have a tune it, left. Tune. Yes, that is correct. Okay, Eric. Yeah, that's right. Eric answered this uh, this question, and we'll talk about it. Have you ever thumbed a list? Thumbed. 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 Thumb. <laughs> That's right. It's correct the pronunciation, teacher. Thumb. Thumb. Thumbed. Thumbed. In thumbed. this thumb, thumb is 
is what's on your hand, a thumb, but when you're using it as a verb in the past tense, it's okay. thumbed. So thumbed. Yeah. Ed. Okay. Any more practical Ed. Okay. Thumbed. Right. So in North America, it was very common for people who don't have a car, and we have very few buses in Canada, especially. So if you want to go somewhere when you are young, you have no money, you stand on the road and you stick your thumb out at the cars and maybe somebody will stop and pick you up and take you in the direction you want to go. That's called thumbing a lift. Okay. Is there anything like that in your country where um, you can get a ride with a stranger in a car? Or n nobody would do that in your country? It's, it's taking a bola in the name here, but it's very dangerous. Oh, yeah. It's dangerous everywhere, I think. Um, I would not thumb a lift. Mostly young men will do it. Um, is in Canada, it was very common in the 1970s to thumb across Canada. So in Canada, we have a road that runs from the eastern coast to the western coast. It is very, very long. It's about 5,000, 6,000 kilometers. And wow. young people <laughs> used to like to um, to thumb rides all the way across Canada. <laughs> wow. But it is dangerous, especially for women. Yeah, you yeah, never so know who is going to pick you up. <laughs> every country is dangerous for women. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's too bad. Okay, so uh, Sergi, can you read number seven, the last one, yes. please? <clears throat> Uh, when you were a teenager, did you uh, the line or did you break the rules? Okay, so anybody got an idea what might be in the blank? No, so Maybe I'll put it. Uh, no, not a knee. A little lower down. <laughs> <laughs> it's toe. When you were a teenager, did you toe the line or did you break the rules? So, this saying comes from drawing a line in the sand. I don't know if you have um, a saying like that in your language, but when there was um, um, a contest between two people, they would draw a line in the sand, and it was the person to cross the line. In other words, they're breaking the rule or they're crossing the line and then maybe there would be a fight. But it's a challenge thing to cross the line. And the very first thing that would cross the line, if you were standing in front of it, would be your toe. So if your toe went over the line, that meant you were breaking the rule. So for teenagers, of course, they're always trying to break the rules. <laughs> so, when you were a teenager, did you toe the line or did you break the rules? So, towing the line meant you kept your toe back of the line, you didn't, you didn't cross it. Okay? <laughs> I, I have a okay. Um, uh, uh, what, what did you use? Headed. In the number four. Okay, number four. Um, because when you are walking, the head goes first. And mm -hmm. I explained mostly it would be um, like animals. If you think of animals with four legs, the very first thing is a head that would go first. Yeah, but I, yeah. I, I, I don't know. What did you use? Head did not head. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Um, oh, heading. Yeah. Okay, that's a, that's a good question. Um, yes, probably I should have used heading. Although mm -hmm. what I have written is very typical uh, uh, slang in English. You would say, where are you headed after the lesson? But really, you should say, to be grammatically correct, heading. Okay? So yeah. you are correct. That is the, the right way. Um, what I have put down is um, slang. Yeah. I should have, because it's going here. So it should have been heading here. Yes. Good point. Thank you, Nyung. <laughs> Thank yeah. you for catching that. OK. All right, here's some more. We don't have very much time, but I'd like to go through some of these because they're kind of fun. Uh, there are a lot of idioms that use um, body parts. We have. Uh, let's get you guys to read them. We have somebody on. Amr, are you there? Amr, you've joined the class. Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Oh, good. So, have you been following what we've been doing here? Yes. Yes? Can you yes. read what's on the screen? I want you to read uh, the first little... Um, uh, okay phrase in blue okay uh, stat statement number one no um, in the blue letters that are at the top yeah uh, uh, screen a uh, screen uh, in mine uh, isn't uh, uh, you can't read it do you have the worksheet yeah, oh, yeah I can I can I can I can read please the, the whole uh, phrase. Phrase, oh yes, yes, it's a phrase. Breathe. So, breathe down, breathe down, yeah. some, some, something. Someone. Someone, someone is neck. Right. Breathe down someone's neck. That's a, an idiom that we're going to use in a, in a minute. <laughs> well, we're going to read them all. So, uh, Eric, read the next one. Can you read it? Eric? A chip yeah. on one's shoulder. A chip on one's shoulder, yes. Chip. Chip, chip. on one's shoulder. Chip. Chip. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, Ernan, the next one? Yes. Can you um, read the next one? Give someone the the elbow right give someone the elbow good uh, Juan the next one yes C A to A C I to I very good and Kim no I can't hear Kim uh, Nigeris next one yes Yes, one. Um, fold the head over heels in love. Okay, so we're going to use either fall head over heels in love or be head over heels in love. Either one. Good, thank you. Nyung, next one. Yeah. Uh, our fingers and thumbs. Right, good, thank you. And Sergi, the next one. Uh, look down one's nose. Okay, perfect. And anyone else after that? No. So we'll go back down here. Amer, uh, the last one. Amer, are you there? Hello? No? Okay, Eric, can you do the last one for me, please? Tread, tread. And tread, you're right, tread. Tread, tread on someone's toes. Toes. Oh, tread on someone's toes. 
Right. Good. Thank you. All right. So we're going to see where they fit in these sentences. The first sentence, I'll read it. And you think about what we need to put in there of those um, phrases at the top. Do you blank with all your colleagues? Do you agree with them about most things? So what do you think would fit in here of all these different phrases that are at the top? Does anybody have an idea? Do you something with all your colleagues? Colleagues are your workmates, people that you work with? Maybe all fingers and, and thumbs. All fingers and thumbs with all your colleagues? Mm, no. All fingers and thumbs. That one fits better in another spot. Maybe because see eye to eye? Yeah, see eye to eye. Do you see eye to eye with all your colleagues? So seeing eye to eye means you're both seeing the same thing. So that means there is agreement. Do you agree with them about most things? So the phrase see eye to eye means you're in agreement with. Okay? Does that make sense? Okay. So, uh, let's see, who else do we have here? Hernan, can you read number two? Uh, yes. Um, just, just read the sentence. Don't worry about the blank. Just say blank at the blank. Uh, number two? Yeah. Uh, do you know anyone who at you, why do they consider themselves to be superior? Superior, right. Super, superior. <clears throat> okay. So turn off your microphones for now because we've got crosstalk going. So in this sentence, why do they consider themselves to be superior? Do you know what that means? These are people who think they're better than you. They think they're much better than you are. They, they consider themselves to be superior. So looking at what we have up here, what do you think might express, do you know anyone who considers themselves? children. Yeah. Yeah, no, not that. As somebody was saying it. Looks down one's nose. Okay. Okay. So, do you know anyone who looks down their nose at you? Why do they consider themselves to be superior? So, looking down their nose, it means their nose is in the air. And in English, to have your nose in, your, in the air means to be stuck up, which means that you think you're better than me. Okay. Any questions about that one? Okay. Do you know anyone who has blank? What does he, she resent so much? So the, the clue is in this sentence here. What does he or she resent so much? So take a look up here. This one's this one's kind of difficult, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in there and we'll talk about it. A chip on his or her shoulder. And really, I'm not sure where this particular saying comes from. But when you have a chip on your shoulder, it means that you are unhappy. Whoa. Okay, I'm just... Uh, all right, there. Uh, lost my place. Yeah, so it means you're being resentful. Does, uh, do people understand the word resent? To resent something? You feel uh, angry about what about something? 
Yeah, it's similar to anger. It's um, uh, say you and uh, your brother um, um, went somewhere and somebody gave something to your brother but didn't give anything to you. You would feel resentful. You, it's, it's not. It's a little bit of jealousy involved and <laughs> and anger, kind of mixed. It's resentment. Yes. Okay. All right. Number four. Does your teacher or boss something all the time? Does she supervise you too closely? So thinking about being supervised closely, which Do one you do you think? Apple. Pardon? Give someone the elbow. No, it's not giving Will someone the elbow. All finger and turns, teacher. No, that one is for something else. Breathe down, someone, breathe down someone's, someone's neck. neck. Yeah, breathe down someone's neck. That's very descriptive. Think about you know somebody who's right on you all the time like they're always looking over you it's like they're breathing down the back of your neck okay that means they're very close if you can feel that so that expression comes from um, having somebody looking at you too close all the time <clears throat> good job and number five in which situations are you blank why are you clumsy in such situations? Do people understand the word clumsy? No, no. clumsy is no. when you you are tripping on things when you walk. Um, when you pick something up, you drop it. That's being clumsy. It's um, I don't know what it would be in Spanish. I don't know that word in Spanish, but like uh, being in a mess, perhaps. So, which one of these do you think? You got some dogs barking there, Nadiris. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, so because we don't have much time, I'm, I'm just going to put it in there. All fingers and thumbs. It just means you're, you just can't do anything quite right. You, you, you can't do sewing because your fingers feel like they're too big and they're, it's very clumsy. Do you feel like you're at home? Yeah, it's, it, it just feels like... A dumb. thumb. Little dumb, dumb. Yeah, all fingers and thumbs. Okay. All fingers and thumbs. All right, number six. When was the last time you blank? Where did it happen? Was it love at first sight? That one should be easy. Which one do you think? Love at first sight. <laughs> when was the last time you... Give someone the elbow. Oh no, we've got uh, one up here that has love right in it. It's the only one. Fall or yeah. be head head over, over heels in love. love. <laughs> right, <laughs> fell head over heels in love. And you can just right. imagine <laughs> somebody tumbling, somebody just falling head over heels in love. It's just all of a sudden, and you know, it's like falling off a cliff. <laughs> okay. And I'm just going to do these last two really quickly because we're almost out of time. Okay. Teacher, can what? I ask, ask you yes. uh, something? Certainly. Could you, you could put in your face a page a link with the material fill up? Um, I have to make my face page, so when I do, I will. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. sorry. I'm a new teacher, so I haven't got around to doing that part yet, <laughs> but I okay, will. Okay. All right. So, when was okay. the last time you tread on someone's toes? What did you say to offend them? So basically, you you could have said something that that offended them, or you could have gotten into their territory, um, such Hand as on someone's toes. 
Yeah, tread on someone's toes. Yeah. It just means that it's their spot, and you've kind of jumped onto their spot. So you would you would stomp on their toes. Tread means to 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 uh, walk on. Tread and walk are very similar. Okay, and it's it's something you would say if you had offended someone. And the very last one here. When was the last time you gave someone the elbow? Which just means you've pushed them out of the way. You ended the relationship. Okay? Anyway, um, we're out of time, so I have to go. But it's been great. Thank you so much for joining me in this lesson. And Thank uh, you. Thank you, teacher. Thank we'll you. see you next time. Thank you okay? so much. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.